So, yes, this is the exact same box y'all saw from two days ago. In that video, y'all thought I was mad. Well, I kind of was, but I was also frustrated, too. I mean, I wasn't, like, mad mad, like, rage quit mad. I was just, like, kind of a bit frustrated. So, yep, uh, this is actually one of the Funko Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles plushies. And one of them was not Michelangelo. I'll show you guys who he was. So, here we go. Here it is. Let me turn the flashlight on. So, yep, it was Donatello. Uh, like I said, this is actually based on the 1990 movie from 33 years ago. This one's made by Funko, and here's the other one right here. I think this one came out in 2016. Because I look on the, the tag right here. I know y'all cannot see those little texts. The little letters it says it's from 2016 and we're going to do a comparison of this in, in another video so let's go ahead and take the tag off of donatello here for the funko plush and see what he looks like without the tag on all right guys so here's donatello right here without, without the tag on so what's really weird about this one like i said this is based on the one from the 1990s movie like the First one from 33 years ago, which that one has Corey Feldman playing Donatello. And what's really weird, he has freckles. Which I've never seen that in the cartoon, but I have seen that in the original live action movies. But, um, anyway, guys, uh, this plus review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. But, anyway, guys, if you guys like, comment, Subscribe. And it was also kind of a bit of an unboxing because I got it out of the box too. Alright, guys, so I got a big old box here I got from Amazon two days ago. Now, yes, the last unboxing that y'all saw was actually from this morning. Well, kind of an unboxing. But uh, the one that y'all originally saw two days ago, I was kind of a bit frustrated, which I kind of wasn't mad. Well, I ten technically I was, but I wasn't like all the way mad. But I'm going to show you guys what's on I got. So here we go. The plushie that y'all originally supposed to saw me unbox two days ago, but never got a chance to unbox it. So it's the Funkos uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, Michelangelo plush. I also got another thing, too, that's pretty cool that I am actually wanting to show you guys what it is. Saw this at Walmart, so here, you, here we go. Now, yes, this is from Mutant Mayhem. This is called the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem Sewer Shredders by Funrise. And I'm unboxing the next video, and also the... Review the Michelangelo, like, right now. So, here he is. Um, this is the one that y'all originally supposed to see me on box two days ago, but they handed me Donatello instead. So, here he is. I'm gonna go ahead and take the tag tags off and see what he looks like. So, here we go. I'll be right back. Alright, guys. So, here's Michelangelo's uh, plushie without the tags on. And this plush unboxing and review is going to get a 100 out of a 100. But anyway, guys, be guys like, comment, subscribe. All right, guys. So we are doing an unboxing of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem Sewer sh Sewer sh Shredders Mikey by Funrise. Um, you can get this at Walmart, but the problem is it has a little tag on it, so. This is in a box, so let's go ahead and uh, take it out of the box. But before we do, here's the other characters you get in the set. We really, really want that Leonardo one. There's Mikey, which who we're unboxing and reviewing right now. Raph and Donnie. So let's go ahead and get them out of the box, shall we? All right, guys. So here he is out of the box. He has like two, two cool gimmicks. He has this one. 
He swings his nunchucks. You can't take him off the board. But he also has a pretty cool gimmick, too. Because you guys can tell, I am... Hold on. That's the other gimmick. And this uh, figurine review is going to get a 100 out of 100. So with the unboxing. But uh, anyway, guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe. So I am back with another plush video. And um, yes, I got this two days ago from Walmart. And yes, um, it's like the Leonardo one I reviewed from the end of July, which was almost two months ago. That yes, um, these plushies are also in Walmart. I mean, the only one that was left was Michelangelo. I mean, the other ones are just Leonardo, which again, I reviewed. So this one, we're reviewing Michelangelo. Now, yes, I did do a Michelangelo video, like, yesterday on the Funko plush and the little sewer shredders thing that has like a McDonald's gimmick to it but yes this is Michael Angelo and yes we all know who's made by Mattel so here he is from the front the side other side the back which I'm not which I'm kind of not crazy about the printing printing on detail on the plush but I'm not complaining I kind of like the plush so yeah let's go ahead and take the little belt clip off and the tag off see what he looks like without the tag on all right guys okay guys I'm sorry if I uh, mispronounced alrighty guys which I don't normally say that in some of my other videos but uh here's the tag uh, there we go, so, um, pretty well detailed, like, I mean, not detailed, detailed, I mean, it's a pretty cool plush, and, uh, this plush review is gonna get a hundred out of a hundred, but anyway, guys, if you guys like, oh, and before I say like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for an unboxing video tomorrow, but still, like, comment, subscribe. Alright guys, so, here's the unboxing, here it is, finally, it was supposed to be delivered yesterday, but, like I said from this morning, it was not delivered because uh, they didn't have to deliver it yesterday, because the post office wasn't open yesterday, so yep, um... But yeah, I know I've been doing like unboxings like every single day, but again, this one's for October, just like those other unboxings for an early October unboxing. So is tomorrow's unboxing and Wednesday's unboxing. So let's go ahead and get this open up and see what it is. It's another See you on Sui Plush. And yes, I am doing another one of, uh, I'm doing a Funko Soda unboxing this Thursday, so stay tuned for that. So let's go ahead and get her out of the bag and see what she looks like out of the bag. And this is actually her school uniform one, I mean, I'm sorry for mispronouncing words. Words, I mean. Alrighty, guys, here is the school uniform uh, Suyu Asui out of the bag. Uh, yep, it's just her in the school uniform outfit from the anime. Here's the tag. But yeah, let's go ahead and take the tag off and see what she looks like without the tag on. So here we go. Here she is without the tag on. The tag on, I mean. And this plush review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. I'm sorry if I mispronouncing words. I'm sorry for that. But anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys. So here this is a big box. Not a big package. Uh, bought this two days ago. Almost at the middle of the night. And it's being, it was delivered today. 
And yes, this is actually going to be spawn related because I have spent three years. Yes, y'all heard me correctly. Three years looking for a spawn action figure. So I'll be right back and show you guys what it is. So check this out. It's a thing called Page Punchers. They're doing this with DC also. Comes with a free comic book. I think this is actually the first Spawn comic book. And yes, I only got this because, uh, one, Spawn is coming out on Call of Duty tomorrow. So, yeah. But let's go ahead and open this and see what it comes with. So, be right back. Comes with a comic book. And it's pretty cool. It's actually the first Spawn comic book from 31 years ago. And I did not get the standout, so yeah. Uh, still be right back. And what's really cool about this, it also comes with a free stand. But we still got to get the... I still got to get the action figures out of the package. So I'll be right back still. Got Spawn out himself. And got this character name Anti Spawn? I have never heard of this character. The only character I heard of was Spawn, Violator, the demon with the spike coming out of his back, Sam and Twitch, and the Gunslinger. Which is just literally another clone of Spawn in a cowboy outfit. So, yeah. Um, so, be right back. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the stand first. Now, it comes in two separate pieces. You just plug them in. Like that. And I think it's pretty cool. It comes with a stand. And a cool comic book. And what's really cool about this, you guys... Uh, you get 15% off when you pawn, I mean, not pawn, <laughs> shop on the McFarland Toys store. I think it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and look at the action figures first. So the first one we're going to look at is our main man, Spawn himself. Um, he has like one, two, three, four, five. And six articulations. They did pretty well on the action figure. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I heard rumors that he doesn't actually like stand all that well. Which I will probably figure something out. How to make him stand. And this weird looking character that looks like... I don't know. But here's this one, uh, Anti-Spawn. Again, I have never heard of this character. I only know, like I said in the beginning, like, just a few seconds, a few minutes ago, I mean, uh, I only heard of Spawn, Violator, the Clown, Melboja, whatever his name is, uh, Sam and Twitch. So, yeah, um, and this, uh, unboxing plus review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred but uh, anyway guys if you guys like comment subscribe stay tuned for another unboxing video tomorrow and thursday but still like comment subscribe uh, i don't even know why i did that but still like comment subscribe so okay guys um yes yeah, so the video that y'all was supposed to saw, uh, car drive past me because, uh, while I was filming, again, uh, the driving past the, me is, like, kind of distracting. So, here is the figurine that y'all never saw them boxing to a year ago. It is the Suyu Asui Funko Soda figurine. Now, I heard that, um, GameStop is actually getting... A Momo figure that's 
from My Hero Academia. That's going to be exclusive to GameStop. And she has, like, the common and the glitter chase. So here's the soda can. Um, so, yep, when I looked in the bag, uh, haven't got the bag out of the figure yet, because I had to refilm this video that you are watching. And here is this one. Look at the pog. It is the common. Gonna put that there. So, here's the bag, and this is just gonna be unwrapping. Well, slash unboxing, because uh, I just got it out of the can, which has nothing to do with the unboxing. So, here you go. I'll be right back to see what it looks like. Also, before I got it, the can out of the out of the box and the the other stuff too. They put it in paper also, which uh, yeah. So here's the figure. It's pretty well detailed. Um, doesn't have any articulations. Uh, yes, I did do a Funko Soto review a few months ago on RoboCop, and yeah, um. Let's go ahead and get this review it deserves. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys. So this figure is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. But anyway, guys, because like, comment, subscribe. I will probably do more Funko Soda reviews in the future. But still, like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys. So... Got this big box from Amazon. And yes, again, this is for October's unboxing. So, um, yeah. Uh, anyway, so I was in this very um, spot here the other day. They gave me the exact same Michelangelo plush I reviewed just last week. And, uh, well, they reset it again two days ago. So... I'm going to check this one out and see which one I got. Okay, Amazon, you did a perfect job. You sent me the right one, which was Leonardo. I also got this, too. So, y'all remember about, like, last week I reviewed this little sewer shredders toy. And, uh, yeah, um, I don't even want to talk about what happened here. But, um, yep, I actually got another one, and that is, yep, Leonardo, which, he was 15, well, mostly $16, but they changed the price back to it to ten nine, about $11, so, we're going to unbox that in the next video, so, in this video, we're going to review the main thing, and that is the Leonardo Funko Plush. So here he is, um, I'm going to do a comparison with the New in Mayhem one that I reviewed two months ago. And let's go ahead and take the tags off and see what it looks like without the tags on. Alrighty guys, so this plush she plushy unboxing plus review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. But anyway guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, since about like a week ago, so y'all saw me did an unboxing on these things called the Sewer Shredders from the new uh, Mutant Mayhem movie that just came out on uh, Paramount Plus a couple weeks ago. So, the one that y'all saw me did an unboxing on last week was actually Michelangelo, and this week it's going to be on the leader, Leonardo. Um, yes, we all know how these toys work. They have, like, two gimmicks. You can push the button on the back and do, like, this little pullback feature from the McDonald's Happy Meal toys from years ago. So, um, yep, uh, when I went to Walmart, like, last week, this guy was sold out. So, um, I was pretty disappointed, but good thing I bought them on, uh, 
Amazon. So yeah, let's go ahead and get him out of the box and see what he does. Which, we already know what he does. Alrighty, guys. Here is the Sewer Shredder. Oh, let me refer to that. Hold on. The Sewer Shredders uh, Leonardo, Leonardo out of the box. He looks pretty well. Um, he's voiced by Gumball from Gumball's Water Sense, a voice actor from The Amazing World of Gumball. So, yeah. Has one head articulation. Two gimmicks, which is the swinging the swords. And... What well, if I could do this? Hold on. There we go. And that is it for this uh, unboxing. So this unboxing is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. But in anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Also, before I end the video, stay tuned for a unboxing video tomorrow that I got from Hot Topic. But still, like, comment, subscribe. Alright guys, so, yep, uh, I got this from Hot Topic. It's actually gonna be a Scream related, so, bought this like, three days ago. And I'm, really I'm excited to show you guys what it is. But, uh, first, um, yep, um, anyway, so I got like, Four more unboxings to do. I got one to do tomorrow. The one by this by Friday of next week. And one on Halloween. So stay tuned for that. So yeah. Um. Anyway. So let's go ahead and get this out of the bag. And show you guys what it is. So here we go. Okay guys. So this is a Hot Topic exclusive Kid Robot Funny Ghost Face plush. Um, uh, let's go ahead and get him out of the bag and show you guys what he looks like out of the bag. But first, I gotta fix the hoodie. Yep, here he is. And let's go ahead and take the tags off and see what he looks like without the tags on. So here we go. I thought I paused it. Hold on. Here we go. Alrighty, guys. So here he is the plushie, and yes. Again, this is actually the Hot Topic exclusive that comes with a bloody knife and covered in a little bit of blood. And this plush review is going to get a 100 out of 100. So anyway, guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe. This is going to be the weirdest unboxing I have ever done. I mean, out of the three of uh, 2023... Which we only got two more months till New Year's Eve comes. But yes, I love all of the unboxings I did for this year. This is how to be the most weirdest one I am doing. And that is this and this is on the Bluey Toothbrush by Colgate. Has a little suction cup on it. But uh yes, if y'all wanna know, did I actually bought this? Which, I think you can buy these at Walmart for, like, 2 to $3. The dentist doctor actually gave me this for free. Because once I, well, I was at an appointment, like, three weeks ago. Not the one from last week, like, three weeks ago. I think they caught me watching Bluey, like, two or three episodes of it on their TV. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get it out of the box and see what it is looks like out of the box. And three, two, one. Alrighty guys, so here is is out of the box. And I'm gonna give it a hundred out of a hundred. But anyway guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, that was a fail. So yep, um got another Amazon package and we're gonna unbox a movie, well, mostly a show, because I haven't done a show unboxing, I want to say, like, since three years ago, so, um, yep, uh, let's see what it is, oh, okay, here we go, 
Uh, this came out just today, and that is Ruby Volume 9. Um, yep, that cover has a little damage, but I am not judging. So, yep, I did not get Volume 8, but I will get Volume 8 shortly. So, yep, let's go ahead and unbox this, shall we? Here we go. So, I just looked, looked inside, and I'm actually shocked, shocked about this. And this one, you get two discs. Um, I think the disc one, you can watch the episodes. Disc two is just with the, um, special fe features. But, um, anyway guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe. I'll do the Justice League crossover Ruby Part 2 movie unboxing on Halloween. So, like, comment, subscribe. Okay, I don't even know why I did that. I just did that out of context. Um. <coughs> yep, uh, so some of y'all didn't want to know why I haven't been speaking correctly for the past few days, um, I had a doctor's appointment yesterday, which, yes, I know, I had one just last week, so, yeah, um, but besides the point, um, yes, so, if y'all remember about a week ago, I did an unboxing on a comic book with the two spawn action figures, well, uh, and if y'all think I'm gonna lie to you, we're nearly almost 500 subscribers. I'm not joking. I really am th that close. So, yeah, um, you guys want to know what I get? Guys, so, in three, two, one. Okay, I thought it was gonna be a size like a magna, like the My Hero Bugs. So, um... Yep, yeah, it's been nearly almost a week since I did my first comic book unboxing. That is the first uh, reissue of Spawn. I got the first issue of, uh... <coughs> well, it's actually... Well, technically, it's called Volume 1 of Invincible. But, uh, yes, um... I also had another thing in here, but it didn't belong to me. It kind of belonged to my brother. I think it was that Death Space game. It's not Death Space Remake. I think... It's kind of like Death Space, but... I think it was made by the same people that did the comics. And, uh... Wow. There's Invincible himself. And yes, I also heard that, uh... That, um... Re... Uh, Volume 2 is being re-released of Invincible in this kind of style. Uh, some point by Halloween, with, um, Brian's probably gonna be Omni-Man. So, yeah, guys, um, I will read this comic book and tell you guys about it. It in 3, 2, 1, here we go. I thought I paused it, hold on. Alright, guys, so that's it. Uh, this review is gonna get 100 out of 100. But anyway, guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys, so I am back with another unboxing. And this unboxing is going to be another wrestling figure unboxing. And I can't wait to show you guys what it is. And yes, we're, al we're um, almost at 500 subscribers. Right now, right now, I'm at 499. And I'm... Really, I'm shocked that we I made it that close. And, yeah. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get this out of the box and see what it is. So, be right back. Alright, guys, so... I'm gonna show you guys what it is in the next scene. Three, two, one... So, this actually just came out a couple weeks ago on Amazon, and that is the Basic Series 140 Cody Rhodes. Uh, the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. 
Alright, it's just him in a suit. So, yeah, uh, this is my second Cody Rose action figure. In the series, you get Randy Orton, Tommaso Ciampa, Ronda Rousey, and Rey Mysterio. His singer, uh, Cody Rose's uh, finishing moves are a crossroads and Cody Cutter. And his wrestling uh, boot class is a grappler. So let's go ahead and get him out of the box and see what he looks like out of the box, shall we? Alrighty, guys, here he is out of the box. Yep, um, they are re releasing new, they are getting new figures in from Mattel with the new leg articulation. They're not like using like the this type of articulation anymore. It's actually gonna be like the Diva figurines for the superstars now. And this unboxing plus review, it's going to get a hundred out of a hundred. But anyway, guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe. So yep, uh, before I started this unboxing, so yes, I did shave this part and this part. Don't worry, probably after the like after the video, I'm probably going to shave and then clean my face after. And also, thank you guys for 500 subscribers. I am shocked. I made it. Uh, I think I made it up to 500 about like two, three days ago. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get to the video. Um, yes, this is going to be a My Hero Academia plushie unboxing and... Which character? Um, that's gonna be on this one. It's gonna be on Momo. Uh, yes, I did review this one like three years ago, but uh, this one's just her standing. I actually bought the one that's sitting down. So in three, two, one. All right, guys, here she is. By the way, this is my second plush. Um, there's also a third one where she's also sitting, like in the sitting post. With the school outfit on. Like, you know, like the one for the AU. Let's go ahead and get it out of the bag. And voila! Okay, yeah, same hair. It's a little... White, uh, white, uh, like white hair on it, like you know, gray hair or whatever. Here is the oh, wait a minute, here's the tag, and let's go ahead and take the tag off and see what she looks like without the tag on, and then review it. And yes, this is also made by Great Eastern Entertainment. I also found out that they're doing Ruby Ice King Ice Queendom stuff now. But the problem is, no plushies. But there's only like keychains and all. So anyway, so let's go ahead and take the tag off of this Momo and see what she looks like without the tag on. And three, two, one. Not gonna do the Thanos snap, because I am not good at that. Alrighty guys. Here she is without the tag on and this plush review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred but um yes guys still thank you guys for 500 subscribers um i appreciate it i appreciate you guys with the support and all um i mean i do like any con like what you guys like talk about like wwe my hero some animes uh Video game related stuff, my thoughts on the video games, or sometimes movies like I did with the Super Mario movie a few months back. But, um, anyway guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe.